Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Solo variant number one is called Painting with Vincent. What's going to happen is Vincent's going to be the dummy player, if you will, and he will start the game with four inspiration tokens. On his turn, he will flip these over, and what he will put the ones that flip face down. He will not gain anything and put those back in his supply. These will go down, and then he will take this card. Now, Vincent's not going to complete any paintings. He's just going to take cards to help you so you can keep things moving and perhaps not plan the way that you wanted to. So then you would take your turn taking whatever, whatever inspiration tokens he has left. He would put those down and take the next one. In this case, he would take this card, gaining the inspiration token per normal. And then these would scoot down and the next card would come out. And it just kind of pushes things through. So you're still trying to play the game exactly like the base scenario, just like the base game. But instead, you're just going to make those three and get the highest score and try to beat your score every time. Vincent's never going to score. He's never going to create paintings or anything like that. You're just trying to beat your own score every time you play. This is a little bit of a fun uh, scenario here. I think that it's fine. Uh, I do like making the paintings and trying to get them through. And I think that's the brunt of the game is trying to make your best and score. And then your opponent, in this case, Vincent, may file, you know, they fall where they may. Vince is kind of randomizing things a little bit, but also moving these cards out. It's a little bit harder to plan because he, you know, he's just going to flip these over and then, you know, he could have taken this one or maybe this one. You don't know. So it's a little bit harder to plan, but that's how it is when you're playing against a real opponent anyway. You could score him if you wanted to in just the first three cards, next three cards if you wanted to, but that's not in the rules. The rules is he never scores and you're just playing against your own score every single time. I think it's a fine time diversion. I think if you wanted to play this game solo, that's definitely a way to do it. I, it's really a solo experience other than like Vincent's doing. It's taking the cards from you. So I think it works in that regards. Uh, nothing else is going to change about the game. You're going to score exactly the same five card maximum in your hand, three cards to make a painting. You're going to make those paintings and score based on the ribbons just like you did before. So every time you play, you're just going to really. But th the problem is, is that it feels like when you're playing that, since you're not playing against somebody, you're playing against yourself, that it's almost like... It feels like almost if the right combination of cards come out, I'm going to score better. And I guess the game has that a little bit. But in this respect, it feels more so because you're not playing against an opponent where you're not saying, well, I think they might want to take that one. And this one will probably be their next turn. I don't think anybody will take it based on what they're trying to build or what I think they're trying to do. With Vince, it, it's randomized. You know, and maybe sometimes when you're playing an opponent, it feels randomized, but it definitely is randomized with Vince. So just kind of know that going in. And he's there just to maybe disrupt things and keep the cards kind of churning more than you're playing against his score in any way. It's okay. I'm not a real big fan of playing against my own score type stuff. I don't know if I would invest in this game just for the solo variant. Although I think, you know, this looks interesting to you and looks like something that you would enjoy. Definitely something for you to go for. And it's maybe something that if I just want to put the pictures together and, and try to score, I think that puzzle element of the game is still there and it's quite a bit of fun. So that's the solo variant here. This is called Painting with Vincent. Um, I think it's, it's pretty good, but you know, if you're wanting a lighter solo experience, this may be it for you.